Weekdays with Bernie segment tonight is expected. The national media having a great time today, marking the second inauguration of their guy, President Obama. The online magazine Newsweek has presented this to its readers, the second coming. Not exactly sure about the first coming here. I don't know what they're really referring to. I hope they're not comparing the president to Jesus. I hope not. With us now here in New York, purveyor of BernardGoldberg.com, Mr. Goldberg. And you say? I say, what do you think they mean when they say the second coming? I mean, literally, they mean his second term in office. Yeah. But the term, the second coming, has connotations, and they're religious connotations. And this is the same magazine, by the way, that a few months ago, back in last spring, ran a cover with uh, Barack Obama with a halo around his head. And, <laughs> and, and this is the same magazine where the, oh, the guy who wrote the cover story, Evan yeah. Thomas, referred to Barack Obama as a kind of God. This isn't journalism, Bill. This is idolatry. I didn't read the story. I'm sorry I didn't get, get to it today. I should have read it. Did, did you read it? No, I didn't, I didn't read the whole story. I saw the cover and I said, is this a parody? As a matter of fact, while, while I'm saying parody, in 2009, National Review, the conservative magazine, right. ran a parody. Okay, this is it. They ran the same, a parody. The same cover. Yeah, and it's a cover of, uh, of Newsweek and it says, it has a smiling picture of Barack Obama and it says, it better, better than FDR, cooler than JFK. There it is. The okay. one on the left, everybody, is a parody. Better than FDR, cooler than JFK. The one on the right is, is a real, real cover. Now you so, tell me, which is the goofier cover, the second coming or the parody I just cover? want to be fair here. So, so <coughs> Goldberg and I, well, I don't have a beef because I don't know. So Goldberg doesn't have a beef about the article because we don't know what's in the article because Newsweek doesn't publish anymore. They're online. Um, but the covers obviously are deifying to some extent. I'm saying they've, tr yes, I'm saying they've, they've tried, many in the mainstream media for four years have tried to, to turn Barack Obama into a messiah. And those of us who said that have been either dismissed or laughed off or whatever. Here it is, a messiah, the second coming. Okay. Now, I get letters that say, listen, you and Goldberg are, are just uh, wasting your time because we, the letter writers and then maybe viewers of the factor, we know the media is in a tank for Barack Obama. Why do we have to hear about it every week? And I think that's a decent point. I mean, we prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the network news, most of the urban newspapers, the wire services, and two out of the three cables are all avid supporters of the president, which means a lot, but we've proven the point. So why is it important? I'll tell you why it's important. Despite the criticism that I've made in books and on this program of the mainstream media, a free country needs a strong mainstream media. We, we need a strong mainstream media. And you can't just let this stuff go by. And this is only, this, the second coming is only the most recent goofy example. But all the other stuff that they do, uh, where they're in the tank, that's not, you, can have a free, you can't have a free country without a free press. We all know that. But you can't have a free country forever without a fair press. That's why it's important to hold them accountable. But I don't know if they're, you know, with the Internet, and there's a lot of people now just putting out whatever they want, whether the uh, mainstream media is as, as, is as important as it once was. It, no, it isn't. It isn't. Right. So it's decline in influence. And while they decline in influence and profitability, they become more ideological, some for economic reasons. Right. And some just because that's who they are. And, they say, you know, we're not going to make money anyway, so we might as well just roll the dice and be far left people. What troubles me, because Bernie and I basically are not ideologues, but is that right? I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I mean, you are. No. But when a report from the GAO comes out on Friday and nobody picks it up except us, I mean, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but you didn't hear about it unless you watched this program. That's vitally important. It, that's, that's precisely my point. Right. And they're just going to ignore it because it makes their guy look bad. Yeah, if there's a rule of thumb, that, and that is the rule of thumb, you just said it. The rule of thumb is, it, and it's true in journalism and in life in general, if you like somebody, you'll react to what they say one way, and if you don't like them, you'll react another way. The fact that this, the media have fallen in love, I mean... The adoration for Barack Obama they is, love him. There's is, no is doubt embarrassing. About it. They don't like the danger in that, the, what's right. wrong about that, right. is that then they won't tell you how bad the economy is. When, when George Bush dropped a few drones on terrorists, they were in an, in an outraged. And, and when Barack Obama drops a lot more drones on them, 
not nearly the outrage. They don't say anything. When, when George Bush instituted the Patriot Act, outrage. When Barack Obama re-ups the Patriot Act, Nothing. not a peep. <laughs> right, no. It's, it's so bizarre, though, that we're living in a country that's supposed to have, you know, an aggressive media. Media is skeptical. I mean, that's how I was taught. So you were taught, I think, when we were cubs. And now it's basically the, the college journalism schools oh, yeah. are, 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 have Obama's picture up there with can, lit candles around <laughs> right. it. And there's a, what are they supposed to do, you know? Yeah, and, and, oh, and, and the reason they do is because surveys have shown this. There have been studies on this. The professors at, in journalism oh, schools... Off the chart. Off the chart left. So that it, it doesn't bode well for uh, the no, freedom it's, of it's press. Not, it's and, not going to get better before it gets a lot worse. Right. All right, Bernie Goldberg, everybody.